Hi everybody, my name is Athena and welcome back to my channel, Life Through Dyspraxia. So in today's video, we're going to be making some doggy treats, some doggy biscuits from scratch. My little doggy fudge, who's going to be turning two today, the 4th of July. And also in air of the 4th of July in America, I'm also going to be making some 4th of July cupcakes as well. So sort of like not edible for us and edible for us. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to be making the cupcakes on a separate day. But they're all going to be in this one video, so don't you worry. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get into the video. Stuff off with I got my ingredients. So I measured out 280 grams of normal flour, plain flour, plain flour. I think that's all purpose flour in America. And then I've got, I think, how much water was it again? Okay. How much water did I do again? Half of a third. I did half a third of water that's in this cup. And then I've got one egg here. And I'm gonna, well, mash all of these together. And then we're gonna get a rolling pin and we're going to cut them out. It's gonna be fun. So let's get into the video. So I think I'll pour the water in first. That'd be a good idea. Just so I've got like a minute to put this egg in. The shell in. This is such an easy recipe, to be honest. When I looked it up online, I was like, this is so easy. This is what you do, and then you just wash it together with your hands. This, oh, this is so sticky, look at this. So when my dog was born, I gotta tell you, it was scary. It was so, so scary because basically my dad didn't plan that she was gonna be born for another week or so. So we hadn't actually got all the stuff for her to be born. There was gonna be three of them, three little girls. And um, basically, I was just come off the treadmill because we just got a treadmill for my birthday and we had it in the kitchen because we hadn't transferred it to where it is now. And basically, yeah, so I just come off the treadmill. I was going upstairs to get a shower and I heard a little squeak. And I was like, what? And yeah, so I heard a little squeak. I didn't know what it was, so I ran over and it was a little puppy. A tiny little puppy that only fit into the palm of my hand. I was like, oh, that is so sweet. Oh. We, I was panicking because I didn't know what to do. I'd never had it, I'd never been with any puppies before, we didn't have the right equipment, they were just born on the sofa. Literally, they were just born on the sofa. I have to stand up for a sec. I'll try if you can't see you, Major. You might need a little bit more water to bind together. Yeah, so um who knew that after who knew that two years later I'd be making these cakes for them? Maybe I added a bit too much water. Oops. I think I added a bit too much water. Please don't call me to me if you're a critic. I know I think there's someone, there's someone that commented before in the comment section that was a, um, did do food. <laughs> I 
I stayed off it. I know that. This would go a lot better than this, if I'm being honest. The camera dies, which is a possibility that it could die. My hands are too sticky to delete any of the footage that I may not need. So yeah, so like, I could never, if this was live, I feel like I'd completely <laughs> fail because I figured out pretty soon, pretty out, I figured out not long ago, I'm not very good at live streams. I think I'm back to square one. What do you think? I know I'm not. Do you? I think I'm gonna save myself. Yeah, I figured out I'm rubbish at live streams, and the reason why is I'm I'm booked onto an agency, and there was a job to do a live stream, and I worked really hard for this live stream to get the job for this company. To uh, there was I think it's called Big O. I don't know if you've heard of it, Big O. And um, basically, a representative from Big O came to the agency which I'm booked into and asked if anyone wanted to do it. And I thought, well, I'll do the audition. Didn't never realise how stressful it was to do the audition. It was so, so stressful. It was honestly the most stressful audition of my life. Uh, I ended up booking the job though, but, and um, yeah, so I ended up booking the job, but I ended up doing a second audition for something else on, on Big O again, and that was even more stressful, and I couldn't think of anything to say in the moment. Uh, yeah, I'm a chatterbox, but on Big O I was the opposite of a chat box and my heart was racing and I had to give up the job because I thought I can't do this. I literally just had to give it up. <gasps> because better. So yeah, so I can't do live streams. Maybe when this channel becomes more developed, maybe I'll do a live stream on that. But anyway, talking, going back to Budge, rather than me talking. <laughs> What's going on with Budge and Coke? Well, Fudge is turning two. Coke's four, which is crazy. I feel like because we got her when, I would have got her when I was 17, which is my brother's age now, just about. And uh, Fudge is, I'll tell you their personalities. I'll show you a picture of them here. Here, here and here. If I can, if I can remember to, I will remember to. 
Fudge is very shy, I'd say. A very shy personality. She doesn't like to, um, she barks when people or dogs come. Although she's getting better all, she still barks at dogs. And um, she's very, got so much anxiety in her. And, but when you get her at home, she's so, so hyper. So, so hyper. And she runs about and that she runs about, gobbles her food in 10 seconds, likes to play in the garden, is, a, is, in, is the an athlete basically, can jump so so high, so so fast. So that's Fudge for ya. I mean Coke. Coke is a little bit more reserved, she's a lot more friendly with people, I'd say, definitely. A lot more friendly, yeah. But she can have her grouchy moments. Like she'll growl at you. She wants her own space. She'll show her teeth at you. But she's never, she, she's never bitten or anything like that. Don't worry. Um, but she's more grouchy. But she'll have her lovely moments uh, where she just wants to be with you. But not as much as lunch. But I love you both. Okay. I think we're going somewhere. I'm just gonna wash my hands. So, I'm coming back. I've just come back from washing my hands. Bring this to the side. Okay. And uh, I've just come back from washing my hands. And I made a hole in the back of the flower. So. I'm gonna use that hole to. I'll have to. Do that. So I'm just gonna do the surface. So <laughs> all that on the surface is. Bring this in. Bring this in. There we go. Easy as pie. Wish we were making pie. Would have been nice. Anyway, we aren't making pie, we're making doggy treats. Doggy. Okay, let me get this into a nice. Let me get this into a nice ball. I've actually made less mess than I thought I was going to make, if I'm being completely honest. The only thing I did, did do, which I didn't expect, is get. Oh, that looks good. I'm sure if a gingerbread man is the right one to pick. Oh, it worked. Might use a different one on the tree. Oh, he's a love heart. I 
be kind of hard. Put them on the side. I'll try this one again. Oh no. Let's not try that one again. You can cover that with a heart. Even the heart's gone all dodgy. There we go. You save the heart. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, it's a train! So I'm gonna finish off the rats and then I'll come back when they're done. So we've got them all in here. And I'm not gonna lie, there's another one right over there. So I've had to use three of these. And yeah, not too much mess and quite happy. And these are really simple to make, as you can see. This is why I'm making a double bake. <laughs> I'm making, another, I'm making another bake on another day, but it's going to be in this video, so it's just going to be the next one. No, no, yeah. I'm going to put these in the oven, and then we're going to talk about some dog facts, which should be fun. Let's go. The cookies are in the oven, the dog biscuits. Let's get on with some dog facts. So my dog is called, my dogs are called Coco and Fudge and they're both Bedlington Terriers. And Bedlington Terriers come from the English town of Bedlington, which I'm not sure it is because my phone is the size of the internet's not going to be working. <laughs> Let's see if it works again. Yep, it's not working, as you can see. Yep, not working. So they're from the small town of Bedlington in England. I don't know where it is. So I'd say, Bedlington, we got our Bedlingtons somewhere near Yorkshire, somewhere near Yorkshire, on the outskirts of Yorkshire. So we had to travel quite a fair bit to cat car, say about almost two hours just to collect the cocoa but it was totally worth it so Bedlington's personalities or Bedlington's personalities I would say generally they're pretty calm they're pretty chill they just want to be with you all the time relaxing in front of Say you're watching the TV, but they're also pretty adaptable. So if you want to go on a walk, they will happily go on a walk with you. Well, I was thinking because uh, that's a word that they know. <laughs> if they want to go on a walk with you, they will happily go on a walk with you and be hyper energetic. Uh, now saying that, uh, that's generally how they are, but they do have that ups and downs day. So Fudge, the youngest, uh, she's currently yeah, quite slow walks because I think she's on heat at the moment. Uh, 
And then Coco, she can be quite lazy going in the garden and she likes to sniff and be inquisitive. Where what Coco does, where Fudge is nothing like that and she just likes to run, jump so high, her stamina is incredible, where Coco is, isn't that incredible. Where that's some facts about my dogs and their breed in general. I would say Bedlingtons were used to be bred for rat catching. So my dogs, if they see anything, cows, rats, mice, birds, cats, sometimes even other dogs, they will act as if they want to go for it and sort of like kill it. I don't think they are, will kill it because I know my dog has gone up to cows and been a little bit afraid. <laughs> but it's in their instinct. I'm trying to think if there's any more facts I can think of. They're currently sleeping at the moment. They sleep a lot, just like any other dog. Really? I'm trying to think, is there anything else I can say here? Yeah. They love chicken, love chicken, love cheese. I think they both have their favorite balls. So Fudge is like, I've got it here. Or is it outside? I'll see if it's her. I think it might be outside. Fudge is like a rugby ball, the sort of like shape. Uh, and I think she likes that because it bounces everywhere and it's more of a challenge. Where Coco's is like the average tennis ball and she really likes that. Uh, like really likes that and she doesn't like to run as such as where Bud is more of the adventurous type where she can she runs for stuff and if things that's lost she loves the challenge and she wags the tail trying to find it so, whereas Coco's lazier so yes so that's all the doggy facts of the day so welcome to another day where we are going to be making 4th of July cupcakes. Now I really think the main thing that makes it the 4th of July is the frosting, which I've already pre-made, which is great. So I got all my ingredients all measured out, apart from the milk, which I can just do in Jiffy here. Yeah. So let's get started. And the recipe says it's the cream the first thing that the recipe says is to cream the butter and the sugar together and I don't think you can see that. So this is what I'm going to be doing. This has been set at room temperature for a little bit so don't worry. Butter and sugar together. That's what I'm going to be doing. Mm. This looks so nice. I woke up early to do the icy sugar. Oh, that looks so good. I really want to. Mmm. Family who live in America, I thought this would be a fun idea. I do have friends who are American actually. My mum's friend from college, her parents are American and they came over here. So she doesn't have an American accent, but she is American. Yeah. From California, she is. Her parents, her family's from California. So yeah. Good. Beating the eggs a little at a time and stirring the vanilla extract. Okay, my battery is going to die. Great. I already know I love. I'm going to rescue. Okay. 
and the other one. Oops, oh, my dinner just got a little bit. I can't remember the last time I did a cake by hand, if I'm being honest. Because I have an electric mixer over that. But I use that for the ice. So, I think so we go. We're folding, right now we're folding in the flour which I'm not sure why we need to fold in the flour. But There we go, the last bit. So we are done! The cupcakes are done. And we can finally put them in the cupcake tray. So that's great! That's great news! So that's what I'm going to do. A messy pop, such a messy pop. But hey, uh, I suppose it's like a good thing that I'm messy because well, it's not really a good thing, but it like shows I've got this raxia and shows that I do still need help. But I don't want people knowing all the time because I'm gonna get something going on my life. Heating and so what I've done in the meantime is I've divided my icing into three sections and I'm gonna colour two of them blue and pink. I couldn't find red. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. Blue and red, and then I've got a wrap of sticker for a pipe it. So I'm gonna go these two colours. We've got pink and blue. I'm just going to use the tiniest amount. Mm -hmm. 
more turning an ocean blue rather than like a blue I want it to turn. I hope my family don't wake up. It's 11 o'clock and they're still asleep. Mm, can you believe that? I woke up at 8 o'clock. My mum was. My mum went out. My mum was up then. My mum was up before then actually. I'm surprised I woke up so early because I couldn't get to sleep last time. Turn more a minty blue. So that's all I have to go for. See what I mean? It's like a minty blue for, rather than like a. See what I mean? The bottle looks so, so blue. I'm afraid the pink is going to look like, a, like baby pink rather than. I know I said I was an expert, but at the same time, I have baked a bit. I wouldn't put myself on Junior Bake Off. No, I mean on the Bake Off, not Junior Bake Off. I'm not a kid. Although, I made it the tiniest bit. Turned orange. Pinkish undertone. Which is weird. I'm gonna see if I can look in the cupboard see if there's anything else. There is orange, and I know orange isn't the same as red or pink. So similar will have to do. Oh that just works better. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I feel like this video, whenever I do baking videos, it's more me baking. I really struggle to multitask. That's my problem. I can never do a video of me baking and talking because I'm more concentrated on the baking and then I start talking about like say my dogs or 4th of July or this or that and then they get sidetracked and I start baking I just can't multitask I'm telling you I just sort of did multitask here I talked about the things not working but hey ho this is why I do better like in vlogs I do better with vlogs and informative videos but I enjoy baking. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna put these in the oven. Got one. So now I'm just going to follow. I've got three clean film sheets, and now I'm just. I guess I'm just. I don't really need a spoon, honestly. 
just gonna follow what I saw. So I saw one of them. And I swear she called it plastic wrap. So maybe I should call it plastic wrap if I'm going with the American theme. I don't know. When I was younger, I wanted to live in America. Let me tell you that. I love the school system. Really intriguing for me. Okay, so I'm back and I've tried to get this. As you can see, the orange is going all the way down. And that's the main dominance for some reason. So I've tried with one cupcake and I'm going to try with the others. Mmm, looks good, doesn't it? Let me try another one. I feel like these look good. Oh, that looks good. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but it looks good. My dad's here, by the way. Can you say hi, Calvin? Hi. Tell everyone who you are. I'm the famous dad. Are you going to come on camera? I'm making such a mess, aren't I? That's dyspraxia for you. You know what it is? I, I should have tied this up at the top. No, it's not. But well, this is broke. Yeah. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I can save this icing for another time, can't I? There's a lot of icing left, so I'm going to save it for another time. I'm not going to chuck it. So. Mmm. Guess not. Tastes quite nice. So. <laughs> Someone's ringing! That is it! I finished the cupcakes! Some of them turned out quite good, like this one. I'm joking, it's just a good one, isn't it? And some of them, I did like this. Because, because this, the thing, this, the tip, uh, ended up breaking off the pipe in my head. Yes. So how would you rate my cupcakes out of 10, seeing as they are here stuck to Kelvin? Kelvin? Um, two and nine. So we've got a two <laughs> and a nine. What about this one? What about this one? Well, that's a ten. That's a ten! <laughs> 
<laughs> what about this one? Not bad. That's probably an eight. What about this one? Mm, that's a nine. This one? It's a four. A <laughs> four? <laughs> this one? Five. This one? Five, six. Seven. Three. Eight. Seven. Wow, you got them rated by Calvin the man. Well, here's the birthday girl. And here's the, not birthday girl, but so lovable. Okay, everybody, sit down. Sit down. Sit down, Emily. Here you go, here's yours, and here is yours. Let's see what they do with them. Are they going to enjoy it? Oh, it looks like Budge is enjoying hers. What coke? Are you going to eat it? Did you enjoy it? Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! You are now too! You look like a doggy! And you smell like one too! In the best possible way, so. Happy birthday, Fudge! Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching! I hope you enjoyed the doggy treats and the 4th of July cupcakes! Hope you enjoyed them. Did you enjoy it, Calvin, for the last 10 minutes that you came in for? Yeah. And did you enjoy it, Harley? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe, comment down.